Okay, guys, I'm here today with Harry Aikens, huge honor for me. Guys, Harry is the third American black belt from Hickson Gracie and probably the one who spent the most time with Hickson because he was the head instructor of Hickson School for many and many years. And today he's gonna show us here like the counter for the hip bump sweep from close guard. And uh, Harry, we were just discussing here like hip bump sweep might be the most basic and popular sweep. Yeah, it was one of the first. I remember when I started Jiu Jitsu when I was 14 years old, for a very long time, that was my whole strategy in Jiu Jitsu, was jump in the close guard and hip bump sweep, get them all. And, uh, and it, the, I know how to stop it, but the counter that you showed, I had never seen, because I know how to stop the sweep, but I didn't know how to counter the sweep. Mm. So Yeah, there's some important details and there's a very specific reason why I do what I do. So let's, let's just show, talk about the hip bumps so we can show everybody what basically what's going on right so i'm here i'm inside your clothes guard and the goal for me inside the clothes guard is to keep my posture right, right. i want to keep my posture and eventually i want to break the legs or stand to break the legs so i can start to pass your job is to break me down right yep. so sometimes what happens is if the guy here is really good if you can't pull me to you yeah right a lot of times what happens you'll come to me Okay. So if I'm here and I have really good posture, right? Yep. A lot of times what happens is because if you pull with your legs, pull, 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 and I don't go down, I don't go down, I don't go down, right? Then a lot of times you put your hand on the ground, right? Boom, grab my elbow, and then you're gonna bump your hip. Boom, boom. Right? So hip bump sweep, right? And that's why they call it the hip bump sweep because you basically bump your hips into me, you thrust your hips yep. to take me over. So a lot of times what happens is what people do to counter this is a little bit counterintuitive. Sometimes it works, but it creates a bigger problem. Okay. So a lot of times what happens is you sit up and go for the hip bump sweep, right? So sit up and go for your hip bump sweep, and I do this. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I normally do. Or if the hand on the belt, you know, like, oh, hand on the lapel, you know, like I place my hand on the lapel and I block, you know. Like. Yeah, you can do this, right? Yeah. Like you can block. If they turn their shoulders, sometimes it's hard, right? If you sit up instead of sitting into me, yes, you see? Yeah. So even if I keep my hand here on your chest, right? Yeah. If you turn your shoulders when you go into it, turn big turn. Yeah, or sometimes like, like pl 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 yes, exactly, right? <laughs> So what happens is, if you think about it, when I'm sitting in your guard, I'm trying to keep your posture, okay. right? You're trying to break me down, you're trying to pull me down, and I'm not coming. So you try to sweep me. If I dive on top of you to yep. defend it, what have I done? Yeah. yeah. I broke your, my posture for you. And now I can attack him with Yes, yeah, and then you have all the attacks, armor, right? Yeah. So that's, we know that posture from the guard is the primary defense. I if I have good posture, yeah. You don't have any no arm sense. lock, you have no triangle, you have no kimuras, you have no guillotines, no triangles, right? So I know if I can keep my posture, I'm pretty safe, yep. right? The second that my posture breaks, now you can sit up and grab my neck, right? Yep. yep. If I put my hands on the ground, you have a kimura. kimura yep. If I go to push off of you, right, arm you bar. have arm bars. Yep. Or if I'm here and I try to, right? My posture's broken, triangle. Triangle, boom. Yeah. So the last thing that I wanna do is break my posture to defend the hip bump sweep. Yep. Right? And so the idea is this, when I'm keeping my posture, when you go to hip bump sweep me, so you go sit up and hip bump, right? Yep, I jam you with my hips, go, throw your hips into me. There's no way. Yeah. So basically, I jam you with my hips. Okay. Now. Some guys, have you ever seen the, the method of doing it where you keep your legs crossed and you sit up first? No. So keep your ankles crossed and sit up towards me. Ankles crossed? Yeah, keep the ankles crossed, sit up. Ooh. Yeah, and now go for your hip hop sweep, right? Go. I open my right. Yeah, see? Yeah, I, I jam you, I right? And the nice thing is after I jam you, okay, because your legs are open, a lot of times it gives me an opportunity to take your back. Okay. Okay, so I'm here, I'm sitting in posture, right? You try to pull me in, I'm not going, right? Yep. And then you sit up for your hip bump sweep. Go, go. Good. So look what I do. I step Man, over your leg. And you go sit back. Just, yeah. Yes, and I just drop my knee. And I already, right, I already kind of have my grip around your neck. Okay. So it's almost like you counter the hip bump sweep mm -hmm. using your hip. Right. And then because you are in the close guard, your hip is gonna be higher than my hip. And then it can kind of like hit my leg. It's not just my hip being higher than your hip. 
it's basically what you're doing is you're knocking my hips back when you go for the hip bump sweep, right? And so basically I jam you. So even from here, if you, so uh, sit up, put your hand on the ground, sit up, good. And go. see how my hips are back? Yep. So what happens is as you go for your hip bumps, so you just go slow motion, Bernard, so you can feel. Ah, do you feel how you're knocking my hips yep. back, right? So what happens is when you go to knock my hips back, go hard, hard. Do you yeah, see how I know. jam you? Yeah. So my hip jams you. Try to knock my hips back. There's no way. Right? So I counter that. I don't let you push my hips back and I, and I jam you with my hips. Yeah. So even if I'm below you, even if you get your hips higher, just me doing this, go. There's no way. Right? And then you just have and to then, use my And leg. so now since the guard is open, yeah. right, I immediately want to start to pass. So yeah. one of the things I can do is I can step over. Got it. And when I step over, what happens is the easiest and quickest way for me to transition to the back is by dropping this knee behind you and lifting this knee. You got it, man, that's right? incredible. No, that's incredible. And then you're right on so, like that. So yeah, with, it's kind of like I step over and then I immediately kind of transition to the back. It's probably the first way I've ever seen to go from close guard to the back with one move. Yeah. Because right? you see like close guard to side control. You see him close guard to turtle. Yeah. But close guard to the back in one move. So try it for a second and just so you can see. Because it's, it, it's, what happens is people are here and you're keeping your posture. A lot of times guys will break their feet, right? And they sit up. Exactly. So look, as much, yes. See? Good. Man, that's incredible. No, I can feel. Yeah, you gotta have a good timing. You, you have, have to have good timing. timing. And the thing is, um, one more time. Yeah. I'll just walk you through it a little bit, right? So I'm here and I pull you in and Bernardo's got really good posture, so he's not coming. So I break my feet and I sit up, yes. And you can even wait. So yep. check this out, sit down on your butt, okay? It's a timing thing, right? Yep. So so just because I break my feet doesn't mean I'm going yet, right? Okay. Just wait for me to go for my hips. So just be patient. And when I go to lift my hips, you jam me. Okay. Yeah, it's good. So just step with this leg. And when you step, good. Now look, drop that knee behind me and this knee goes up. Boom, you see? Yes. See how you're already right yes. in the back. Wow, that's incredible. See how you're right there? That's amazing. So it's like one knee drops, the other knee lifts, and then uh, it allows you to cut the corner really fast. That's amazing. No, and the, particularly, I hate cold guard. Like, yeah. when I'm training or competing, uh -huh. I try everything I can to not fall on the. You hate being inside the close guard? Yeah. No, I, I love practicing close guard from bottom, but mm. from top. You don't like to be in I hate it. it. Yeah. So having more weapons from the closer yeah. on top, I think it's a very good deal. Because what, what everybody learns is all like, keep the posture. Right. Find a way to keep the posture. Mm -hmm. And then this capes for individual submissions, but like a counter like that as well, like yeah. that one, for example. Yes, this is a really nice counter because that's one of the main tools for sweeping, right? From close guard yep. specifically, is hip bump sweep. And so to counter that without breaking my posture is so important. Right. right, because that's the thing is like if I if I go to hip bump sweep you, right? If I go to hip bump sweep you and you dive on top of me, right? Oh, okay. If I if I break my posture. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of a lot of guys are really good at going for the hip bump sweep. Think knowing you're gonna dive on me. One of my favorite moves is pretend and, to, and go to the whole bladder. Uh. That's like. That's one of my signatures. Like I'm here, I pretend uh -huh. that I'm gonna go to, and know, I do this. Boom, and yep, then and then you're ready to water right away. So yeah, so that's the thing is like if I dive on top of you, right? A lot of times, all of these attacks start to open up. So okay. just because I fall, on, now I'm in trouble. Yep. Yep. Right? yep. So how do we defend this without giving them what they want? How do I defend the hip bump suit without giving you what you want? Because think about it, originally you wanted to break my posture and you couldn't. That's why you're going for the hip bump sweep. Right. Right. No, that's incredible. Guys, Harry has an entire structure all about how to deal with the close guard when you are on top. So you, you can find like hundreds of instructions about close guard on bottom, but it's not that easy to find like one instruction about how to deal with the close guard from top. I think we have only like one, two or three maybe yeah. at BGA Fanatics. And he has all the secrets that he learned from Hickson. And uh, it's very, very cool. So make sure to check that out. And it's and the best seller on BJJ Fanatics of all the courses. Yeah, so it's 
That's not true. <laughs> or well, of course, no, it could be yours, but even though I think the I think your best seller is the scarf coat. Oh. Pro side control. It's an amazing course because really what it teaches people, like the first thing that people really need to understand when they're inside the closed guard is how to keep posture. And we really go in depth on how to keep posture. And then of course, the next thing is once you know how to keep posture, because now the person can't break you down, a lot of times they try to go for the hip bump sweep. So this is an important detail to know how to stop basically the next attack, right? They're gonna hip bump sweep you, how to do it without breaking posture again. No, I agree. And uh, we have one another video on YouTube as well where Henry shows how to make the posture that Hickson taught him, like kind of like... Rounding your back, yeah, pelvic tilt. Round your back, that it makes it really hard for someone who is on board to close the guard. So make sure to check that out as well. And uh, yeah, guys, go to BGG Fanatics. Uh, has an entire structure all about how to deal with the close guard when you are on top. He's one of the best instructors I've ever seen. So you're gonna enjoy. And uh, thanks so much, Henry. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.